Hi Vogue, I am Sienna Miller and this is what I wear in a week. This is like a kind of running errands mum outfit, although my daughter would really object and say that I was lying to Vogue because I never really dress like this for the school run, in all honesty. I often put leggings and a sweatshirt on so that people think I'm going to the gym and then I just go home. I can't be chic at 6.15 in the morning, so I tend to wear a tracksuit to do the school run, much to her chagrin. Being a mum has definitely changed how I dress just because of the lack of time and I think energy and your focus is so intensely on somebody else. So she looks great. I used to have time to sort of play and go to markets and I, I was also I think a little bit more comfortable just being like noticed and I was younger and now I just want a uniform that's minimal and cool and comfortable. Yeah, I'm also just tired all the time. <laughs> and I can't sleep till midday and then pot around a vintage market like I used to, but maybe those days will come back. I think it's important to have like staple pieces that you love. So I always wear just like a great pair of jeans and a really nice jumper and you can have that in a few different colors. These are my Gucci loafers that I've had, yeah, the soles kind of coming off the bottom, I can see, and they they got rained on the other day, so there's a nice stain. But I think with those like classic pieces, the kind of more battered, the better. And somehow they always make everything that might otherwise be a bit neutral a little bit more fun. So this is what I might wear if I was going out. And it's a dress that I've had for about five years, I think. It's a 60s vintage dress from 9th Street Vintage, which is an amazing shop in New York. This is the thing that I reach for when I just don't know what to wear, which is most of the time. And what's good about it is you can wear it with boots. This feels kind of New York-y or like a city going out, but I've also worn it with sort of strappy heels and lipstick and it can be versatile and you can dress it up or down. The only clothes in my wardrobe that I don't get bored of are the vintage clothes. This is kind of like an Edie sedgwick -y type dress. I played her in a film when I was a lot younger. <laughs> and I just think you have fun in the clothes that have a sense of history. That's why I love vintage things. And it's probably something to do with what I do for work, but what is the story behind this? Who wore this? What did they do? And all of that can influence my mood if I'm not feeling good. You sort of absorb the energy of something that was loved before. This is that dress that bails me out of a tricky situation. I feel like every time I have to dress up, I think about David Bowie. I think about David Bowie pretty much all the time anyway. I think a lot of people do because he was sort of everything. And funnily enough, my mum was his PA in the 70s, so I've got lots of funny David Bowie stories and um, I would love to have access to that wardrobe and just wear it. Maybe that'll be my granny, my granny sort of look. I'll be David Bowie and go mad. She would tell me stories about how she'd kind of go in in the morning and he'd play her things on the piano and say, Joe, what do you think of this? And still to this day, I'm, if I put on a David Bowie song, she's dancing. I am too. Most people are. This is kind of, again, like a daytime look, but I, I feel like it's got a nod to my early aughts style. Um, I love double denim and I love shades of blue. Miriam Nasir Zadeh shoes, and they're like a 90s slip on. They're so comfortable. And again, I think you can get away with dressing a little bit slobbishly if you add a couple of things. This is a redone t-shirt. They make perfect t-shirts. It's the right crop length. I don't have to do my tuck. It just sort of sits there. I could. And this is a made in heaven coat that is just easy. Again, you can put it over a slip dress or a denim look or whatever in it. And then this is um, a Nina Vogel, which is a, she has this kind of vintage Victorian jewelry place in London at Liberties and you buy little charms and it's an old men's watch chain and I love it. So I was walking down Bleecker Street and I was kind of frantically Christmas shopping. And this happens, I hope it happens to other people because I did feel guilty about it because I bought something for myself and only one other present for somebody else that day. But I saw these jeans and I tried them on and they are, they're really like a perfect thing. They're kind of baggy in 90s, but they 
I don't know how they've done it, but somehow they lift your butt in a way that I know my bum does not look like this normally, but it's quite good. Because I want a butt and I don't really have one except in these jeans. That's why they are a perennial favorite and they're comfy because they're old, you can move. And just to top it off because it's early aughts style and these never, they just don't date the Ray-Ban Wayfarer. So I'd probably wear this and um, wander around with a wandler bag. So this is kind of a red carpet vibe. I am gonna be honest, I don't actually have red carpet looks in my closet. I've kept a few things after intense begging, but on the whole you borrow something new and then they collect it the next day. Like Cinderella, it all goes away. But I would love to wear this on a red carpet because it's simple and it's chic and I love this chain detail. I love that it's backless. I feel like you can have fun in it because it's elegant, but it's also loose. And sometimes a lot of that red carpet stuff, you're so sewn into something that you can barely breathe or there's a train and people stamp on it. I've had many, unfortunate experiences in proper red carpet gowns. In the 90s, things were, became very minimal, and I think of Calvin Klein and that just really simple silhouette. And I love embellished things, I love embroidered things, I love like big puffy things, but somehow I always am drawn back to that era of kind of understatement. There is something timeless about it, and I think I feel most comfortable in that kind of thing that's just a little undone. I think that there's pressure always when you're going to a big event. Like you're aware that people are gonna scrutinize what you're wearing and have opinions on it. I think that there is a superpower in not reading it and not paying attention to it and really dressing for yourself. I think there's such confidence in that. And you can really tell when someone's been put in something that is inorganic and doesn't feel like them. This is something that I can't get enough of. And these are Margaret Howell jeans. They come in different colors. I think Margaret Howell's amazing. It's really minimal and beautiful and she's incredible. And I've literally not taken them off since I bought them a couple of years ago. And the other thing I can't get enough of ever is striped t-shirts. This is a particularly nice one. I love the pink. I spend a lot of time on Vestier searching for Phoebe Philo Celine, but it's kind of a classic Look that works, it's another go-to when you're feeling uninspired. And then these are grey matters, these shoes that aren't battered because they're something I can't get enough of too. And a sort of pop of colour is always fun if you're minimal. I live in New York, it's very erratic weather so I might chuck on this Gucci jacket. In Anatomy of a Scandal I play a character who is the wife of an MP and she's very put together and her life really unravels over the six episodes. But when it comes to, yeah, styling characters, I definitely weigh in. I definitely have an idea of what I think would work. Um, you work with these incredible costume designers who think about what your outfit is saying about the mood that you're in and it's such a hugely creative part of that process for me. I feel like the character really only comes together once that's locked in. And I think that's the power of clothes, is that they really have the ability to change the way you feel or affect your mood or what you're trying to say. This is me trying to say I'm, I'm chic, but I'm, you know, don't notice me. So this is a really kind of easy city look. You could wear it in the day, you can wear it at night, day to night. Um, this one's from Silk Laundry. I love the mid-length and it's kind of fading. And I think that with something really simple and classic, you can play with it and style it up in different ways. So I could add this coat and be a little bit more formal. That would be a good going to the theater in the evening outfit. And then my all-time favorite coat is this, um, this coat. And it's kind of easy and city and cool. Again, you could wear it in the day, you could wear it at night. I've got my favorite battered gray matters shoes on. And then a ring 
that Alessandro Michele gave me for my birthday. <laughs> I'm just gonna name drop that. I'm gonna pick it up off the floor, but I was very chuffed, it's beautiful. And then the old perennial battered gold jewels. I have chip nail polish, I'm realizing, which is very me, but not intentional. So I think slip dresses are great because there's something that's kind of nonchalant about it, but they're also sexy. You know, you're in like a little dress that feels slightly like a nighty, And I love them. I sometimes would wear this with a jumper over the top or a t-shirt underneath, or you know, they're really, you can really play around and make them a million different things. This is sort of a denim all day outfit. These are B-sides, this is also B-sides. I have so many like gray mall sweatshirts and I love how casual this is. And then if you add a fancy looking bag and some fancy looking shoes, it becomes something, even though it really took three seconds to put on. And I think I'm learning through doing this video that that is what <laughs> I want to do is expedite chic. I don't want to spend too much time thinking about it. And I think that these are staples that you could wear that to the gym, you could wear it, you know, out, you can travel in it. This is a good travel outfit, but um, doled up by the rather fabulous beloved Gucci bag. I think when I'm shopping for vintage jeans, I the first, the thing that kind of draws me to them is the wash. It's so hard to get that kind of perfect blue. So I'll look for that. And then I love men's jeans that you can kind of slouch around in. That was it, that is what I wear in a very busy week and I hope you enjoyed it.